what UFO has to do with digestive system of human being? Anything? So there is a one information that I want to share with you and I really wonder maybe somewhere out there is someone who already can reveal me a little bit more information because as much as we are opening ourselves to this idea about aliens, about different races, more and more people talk about it. Therefore, I am also allowed to talk about it not only in my uh, books as a fiction about different races and uh, hybrids and uh, so on. It's like a fiction. But of course, if this ever happened to you, you will read between the lines. Uh, however, today I uh, came across a very important material and it is 1987 year where this is a research, John Sleer, uh, Timothy Good, uh, George Adamski, and these people were talking already about the aliens and a lot about, uh, they had a lot of information, the research, but what is one of the most important information that it's maybe not so spread yet and i wish if you please have more materials about it send me the link send me an email i will be i will so much appreciate it and this is why so in past two years when i'm here on youtube more and i'm making different kind of uh, videos about self-realization about uh, health about paranormal stuff dreaming lucid dreaming how to dream aware and any kind of what is interesting for all of us um, a lot of people report me problems with the digestive system with assimilation of the food that they lack the assimilation of the food uh, they need enzymes they need uh, probiotics the food is poisoned and we more or less all of us more and more uh, suffered recent years uh, because of that uh, some of some of the people are born this way. They always have to be careful. Some of some of them is just happening every now and then. And of course, the others are free of that particular uh, problem. Uh, however, uh, there is a certain correlation because as much as uh, everybody probably by now who is uh, investigating UFO topics heard about hybridization program and just a years ago i was taking all those dreams i had as something funny extraordinary i was making notes about it i uh, realized that some of the dreams i do not have memory of them anymore they are written but when i read them i do not have memory and some other dreams i still to this moment i can vividly see what i dreamt about and i know it's my dream so wiping out the memory is a one number one factor of anybody who encountered aliens whether in reality or was taken to the spaceship as much as people report that that's number one the second one is the dream so people have a glimpses of dream like they are coming in the dreams the other one is being taken to the ship and being in so-called especially women but not only hybridization program so i had two profound dreams that i still do remember to this uh, day uh, that was the first one was indeed i was even offered like do you want to have children here is the offer why not and um the first second i was seeing a little baby the second uh, seconds later it was a grown man Mm, and I remember having this um, motherly feeling toward him and I gave him a talisman amulet something that will protect him and I knew I would never see him again in this lifetime that's why it was so important we say a proper goodbyes to each other in another dream I had also uh, seeing different women in a different uh, some of them were pregnant some of them were about to give a birth some of them they were supporting each other it was like a community and uh, there was also some sort of a laboratory when uh, babies were like being grown out of the mother mother's womb it was in a glass and that moment when i saw that i wanted to 
astrally go to my friends who can lucid dream and say hey here is a proof i can show you that so see how crazy a uh, dream that would be and i was laughing years ago then i watched uh, some of the programs uh, about people who actually claim that it happened to them uh, and there's a lot and more and more people were coming with that and it all would be just another great fiction story if not all of you all of those from the polish side who started to send me um proofs of the needle in their body after the night uh scratches uh some sort of you know chip and uh sometime when i was in uh, los angeles uh to the for the book reading um i met a psychic and that time i had a dream that i also had a chip uh in part of my spine and he didn't know that i didn't tell him but he touched me exactly in the spot where i remember i had this dream that this chip was put into me and he said oh by the way <laughs> here's the chip from aliens i, I can deactivate it if you want uh, so it's a pretty funny story as you see like you don't know you don't have a proof you don't know believe it or not it's uh is that a coincidence nothing really in this life uh on this planet earth is coincidence that's what i believe at least uh so i'm very very curious because i'm talking about it now as much as openly i can uh and this is my personal experiences if you do have those please write me in comments and if you do write in comments not only in emails which i so much appreciate as well uh, more of us can relate to that and it's like together we can synthesize we can come to a greater conclusion what is really going on what is happening um, so these are those profound actually free events um, profound but there is more there always was in my life also as a childhood i didn't know uh, what was happening that time but it was also uh, at night in the dark night when suddenly there was those lights and the, the 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 weird sound and i was so scared as a kid and i just was mentally pushing away please go away please go away uh, and whatever that was the lights went away uh, but it felt that time and I still remember that very well although that memory was hidden from me, from me for long years actually recent years I started to remember that event exactly as it happened because right after every, that event I remembered that I talked about it and I was told that I just imagined that so obviously as a kid uh, you are becoming programmed into uh, having just wild imagination so you forget things that's also just a psychological forgetting things um, there was more there was more um, I was born in a Catholic religion and the entity that I saw entered my room was looking like a Saint Mary and I do believe it was a Saint Mary that showed up to me that time and she disappeared like she just dissolved in the air uh, but I know some of the aliens also I know that from your stories not mine but people per say that um, that some of the aliens some of the entities different uh, type they like to come and show themselves as somebody else whether they are good or bad or you know that's another story uh, some of you uh, who were sending me those proofs saying that um, they didn't feel anything negative from those aliens and some of uh, others say like yeah it was very negative it was like sucking the life force energy and so on some sort of metallic energy i know that there is a lot um there is a two sides uh, of the aliens encounters and some people claim it's absolutely positive it's only positive and some fight like oh no it's terrible it's negative i think it's both I think some people have uh, encounters just like with humankind we meet friendly people and not friendly people and I do believe it's the same thing with other races whoever is out there 
with us here in a different dimension close to us or reborn here on earth back again there is so much to the story so i didn't quite prepared for this material to go step by step so i'm talking now more spontaneous if i do forget about something or you have a question please definitely let me know i do a lot of digression because every, everything seemed to be very very important here but coming back to this uh, story that's an old material from 1987 when that person in the interview and link is going to be below that video uh, he says that those aliens had also problems with atrophy of digestive system and this is why they were here why they were doing experiments on humankind why they were taking dna genetic material blood uh, and so on and so on and all this hybridization program and in this particular documentary interview they say that aliens are absolutely not friendly and uh, they were mostly talking about gray aliens now here is an interesting theory so the one is that these greys are us from the future. So they have this great technology that can go back in time. They can travel through the time. Great technology, great, you know, spaceship, anti-gravitation, whatever they have. Yet they cannot deal with digestive system. They lost the um, ability to reproduce. They cannot have babies anymore. So what kind of great technology is that? So I see, first of all, I see a great limitation here. Secondly, uh, apparently, let's follow that the technology is really great, but apparently, however we were created in the first place, it must have been something more than just aliens adding to our DNA because apparently they still have to do a lot of experiments. So it's not really logic. It just does not fit together, you know? So if they are so great with technology, they can time travel, uh, these, not, these are definitely not the aliens that some people claim already were creating human being. Maybe human being was already created by another force. So this biological technology, which we are biological first great technology is the greatest because so far none of these races can deal with that. I may be wrong here and I'm really wishing if you have a different idea or different proof or different way of thinking, let me know about it. Uh, we can even discuss it here and talk about it deeply. If you, if you uh, study the topic and you have more information, I'm really open to that. But here is just that thought. And now, uh, since I am a fiction writer, because it was years ago, you know, the Oracle series took me 16 years to write. And it was safer that time to write as a fiction, because if someone can relate to that, um, to those experiences, they will know exactly what I'm talking about. But if they cannot, they can still have a fiction book and have a story and just go to sleep and nothing ever happened, right? Uh, so I also, years ago, started to ask these questions. Okay, why not uh, these aliens that everybody is uh, seeing, you know, they are talking with them in this dimension. That did not happen to me. So I ask why? And from my, um, I use the word channeling, but from my perception, how I'm receiving the information, I can tell you that it's always very kind, very subtle, never intrusive. And so was the information back. And they told me that time that I need to do my work here first and then we can talk because, of course, it would flood me with their information. There is so much going on and apparently I have to finish my work uh, first, but they are present. And indeed, in all my books, in all my work, in everything that I'm doing artistically, they are present. Uh, they are present in a different forms. Um, just Oracle One, there is already a hybrid uh, centaur. 
Um, some people call it hybrid. Some uh, centaurs will be very angry <laughs> to hear that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I said it. Uh, but a beautiful creature that came and took me to the astral plane and this dream is uh, described uh, fully in the oracle number one in the book uh, I should say something what I'm always forgetting this is on Amazon you can get oracle one uh, new edition uh, on Amazon and also draft to digital and whatever Barnes and Nobles whatever country you are uh, so uh, coming back to the aliens to the messages to the different races because there's so much out there i had rather those more of those positive stories than those negative and even those negatives they were the memories was wiped out and i'm not particularly thinking that this is a very bad thing to do to wipe out the memory and here is why so i am writing a new book now new series uh it's about akasha personified akasha we know atasha is a eater uh is there is a field of knowledge however in my story she's going to be personal personified and it's going to be she this time and akasha had a dream she wanted to be um a human she wanted to experience some aspect of a human life i won't tell you now exactly to not you know burn the story here it's not written yet um but um she wanted to have her memories wiped out because uh we are privileged here and this is also another being neftis neftis that's where i was gathering my information from the subtle messages um told me i know how i'm sounding i'm really sorry about that please take it as a fiction if it bothers you but neftis told me for those who are familiar with those kind of things channeling and so on um that they are jealous because humans have this privilege of having clear card they come in here they don't remember they can make a new experience sure the past influences there there is a dna there is a collective dna of the planet that they they are related to uh, but they sort of start with a new story new chapter new book why immortals are living maybe thousands thousands years old but they do remember everything and it takes longer time to process difficult emotions so that was pretty interesting so akasha in my story also wanted memories completely wiped out she didn't want to remember who she was so it makes sense if some aliens uh, or entities extraterrestrials um there's so many uh names we can call it by now uh erasing your memory it's not necessarily negative it's perhaps for the certain period of time they want to protect you so you have your life because once you know it your life will never ever be the same you are going to explore the dimension and you won't be able to share that with everybody because in a certain frequency in a certain communities you are going to be taken as an insane person that's obvious uh years ago i also experienced that now there is more and more people who having this kind of dreams having this kind of experiences and probably if i would start to write my books now it would not be a fiction anymore but since i really like fiction uh look for fiction with me and uh read and take from it whatever applies to you whatever you are inspired by and all the rest just you know let go of that uh so here i'm coming to the very very important message and I was really shaking off that thought for years it wasn't until i got so many reports from the polish people on the polish side about problems with digestion with the gut with the you know the gut is the second brain and now this relationship connotation with uh, atrophy of digestive system that was touching the aliens gray aliens or is still I, by the way, I wonder if they find out the solution since 1987. Uh, maybe somebody knows. Um, so, years ago, I had thoughts that I brushed off. 
I do remember them now because it was hard to brush them off in the first place. But I was thinking like, as much as they are taking DNA, aliens, extraterrestrials, taking DNA for experiments, for hybridization or whatever the purpose is, I also had, you know, those chips to study human being, to like sort of, sort of spy on human being, whatever they do, how they feel, to trace them somehow. That's why probably the chips, that's how I was understanding it. How about the other way around? So if their DNA is damaged, there is atrophy. How about... Uh, I'm talking about a sort of vaccination for them that they're trying to create through the um, this time timelines through the timelines here because they are from different timelines future that's also timeline um, so what if they are implementing their fractured damaged DNA into human being so the human being will experience any kind of um, problems with digestion and they counting that the strongest immunity systems of the people will produce certain fluids elements of cells here i wish i can talk to some uh, some biologist chemist and uh, of course uh, also uh, familiar with the aliens extraterrestrials and what is possible here um so how about this and they are injecting that into humans so humans temporarily having problems then their immunity system works against it so heals that person and then they um they do it a little bit more so they they inject a little bit more of that damaged dna so i don't know what are exactly the the factors here what is the uh, conditions here exactly but what i heard from reports of those people who having temporarily problems they do not have them all the time they have them for a certain period of time then everything disappears then it reappears in some some years um, of course, I am not talking here about the other factor, the pollution, the poison, plastics in the food, everything what we are hearing, even uh, plastic and rice and noodles and in the restaurants, um, uh, in, taste uh, improvements, any kind of anything artificial that is um, genetically modified. Everything is affecting our digestive system now. So now following that theory that these gray aliens are us are us from the future and they're trying to warn us don't go that direction don't pollute your air don't pollute your food um don't create poison basically uh take care of your water because you are going to land like us uh, so let's follow that theory that is pretty logic here uh because in that timelines uh, they created that timeline. They are leaving uh, that timeline when everything was polluted and they lost um, they lost their race and they kind of going back in time to rescue themselves, rescue us and of course themselves at the same time. I'm really, really curious what you are thinking about it. Uh, please totally let me know. Please write a comment, not only for me, but for all of us, uh, so we can also bring it to another level also on the English side that I know that there are so many people, English speaking people out there who would like to share their stories, who would like to discuss this topic online so more and more people can have the proper conclusions here. And uh, I hope to continue um, talking to the great guests here, is here. You, uh, I invite you to also interview with uh, Samuel uh, um, that he was talking about uh, Teopia prophecy and it's a lot about this great great stories I hope to continue more about this topic also with Mary Rodwell about uh, friends of children that she happened to be a therapist by now after years that so many people were parents were coming with these strange strange stories so i invite you to, to cruise through my channel watch some videos 
uh, about whatever may be interesting for you. If you like to uh, hear more uh, also about this topic in a fiction, it's in my books, Oracle Series. I invite you to it. Let me know. Also, I have a store. You can have also PDF or go directly to Amazon. And if you do are interested in runes, in what I'm painting behind me, uh, some of it I put already into my uh, store. Although it's Polish, you will uh, directly, uh, you can directly go to check out just by clicking on it. Uh, it's described in both languages, Polish and English. Uh, so uh, it's accessible also for English speaking people and described exactly what they are for. Uh, and I have the whole series of uh, films here about runes and soon I hope to make make a new project about Bindrun. So I have quite a lot to do. So that's why these uh, aliens that are still out there to um, to have a great conversations with them, they are a little bit waiting and um, I am a little bit rushed from the other side. I hope I manage and I'm wishing you a wonderful, wonderful day. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye bye for now. Take care. Bye.